A whole new way to think about earthquakes tonight. Caltech scientists warned the next big one may be triggered by a series of small faults. KCOMAN's Chris Holmstrom is live tonight in our satellite center to explain more. Chris? Susie, when we think of the big one, we may think of a devastating quake triggered by the San Andreas Fault. Well, the reality is we need to look at more than just California's biggest fault lines because there's word tonight it's the smaller ones that can create just as much damage. July 4th, 2019, a 6.4 magnitude earthquake strikes Southern California. The quake struck near the city of Ridgecrest. Then, 34 hours later... 821 here on the air. We're experiencing very strong shaking. Wow. I think we need to get under the desk. A 7.1 earthquake. The epicenter, again, near Ridgecrest. Tonight, Caltech researchers say the earthquakes weren't produced by one fault, but by 20 or more faults, releasing energy seconds apart that combined created a strong quake. I spoke with the lead author of the study, Zach Ross. He says these kind of quakes are more common than we think. You know, in hindsight, if we really look back over the last century and all the largest events in California that we've had, um, probably most of these events look more like this Ridgecrest sequence than uh, the classic 1906 San Francisco earthquake. But why are we learning about this now? Simply put, improved technology. In fact, researchers look at two types of data, one of them being satellite radar. This means clear before and after pictures. We can look at how the ground moves uh, between those two images, and so we can see that there are many of these faults that crack the surface. They, they went all the way up. Um, but then we can also use our uh, seismic instruments that record the ground motion 